All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, I got an awesome comparison video for use today. And we're going to do it on Phil Heath versus Kevin Lavroni. Now, we're going to do it on Phil Heath at the 2011 Mr. Olympia and Kevin Lavroni at the 1995 Mr. Olympia. Where some say that the 1995 Mr. Olympia was the best Kevin Lavrone to ever step foot on a bodybuilding stage. Now, he did play second to Dorian Yates in 1995 and looked really good doing it. But I think that 1997 and 1998 were even better, in my opinion. I think he looked amazing in 1996 as well. 96, 97, and 98. I never liked the 1999 version of Kevin Lavroni, really. Uh, 2000, he came back and redeemed himself. 2002 was okay. Then 2003, he fell off a cliff. But I digress. Then on the other side of the coin, we got Phil the Gut Heath. Well, not in 2011. He's more like Phil the Gift Heath in 2011. And Phil Heath won the whole Mr. Olympia contest back in 2011. But you got to remember, 2011 compared to 1995 is no comparison whatsoever. You cannot even compare the two competitions. I mean, 1995, the lineup was so stacked. One through 10 could be a Mr. Olympia champion nowadays. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, not for nothing, 1995 was a really good year for the Mr. Olympia contest, so Kevin Lavroni placing second was just unbelievable with that fucking stacked lineup that there was back then. But let's see who was really better once and for all, Phil Heath or Kevin Lavroni? Phil at the 2011 Mr. Olympia or Kevin at the 95 Mr. Olympia? So guys, without any further ado, let's get it on. And we got the first pose of the night, the front relaxed. And this one's going to go to Phil. I say it all the time. Phil Heath has an amazing front relaxed pose. Just the way he holds the pose and the facial expressions that he makes just makes it all so much better. So all in all, Phil Heath is going to get the first point for the front relaxed. Plus, he's got some more. He's got a little more detail than Kevin Lavroni in the midsection department, the quads. The quads look like they're more separated. They look like they're more deeply cut. His arms and shoulders look a little bit bigger. So in my opinion, Phil Heath is going to grab the point. All right, guys. Now we got a front double bicep. And this one's going to go to Kevin Lavroni. Just because Kevin Lavroni's arms are bigger, Phil's biceps might be a little peakier. But Kevin's arms are bigger. Uh, Kevin is wider. He's got a better V taper. His legs even look a little bit bigger in this pose. So I'm going to give Kevin Lavroni the front double bicep. Even though his picture's in black and white. You could still tell that he is better than Phil in the front double bicep. All right, guys, off to the next pose. And we got the uh, side chest. Well, actually, this could be a side chest or a side tricep. And I couldn't get another side tricep shot on Kevin Lavroni in 1995. So we're going to have to go with what we got. And I think I'm going to go with Phil because I think Phil has a thicker tricep. I think Phil's tricep is a little bit bigger. Maybe in certain poses, Kevin's tricep might look a little bit bigger, but I think Phil's might just be a touch bigger. And it's nice and cut, and the silhouette looks great, except for the fact that he's sticking out his midsection. But other than that, he looks really good, so I'm going to give Phil Heat the point there. All right, guys, off to the next pose, and we got the side chest shot. And it might look like Phil has a better side chest than Kevin in this pose, because the lighting is totally different. But we all know, if you know anything about the Maryland muscle machine, Kevin Lavroni, then you know that he has an amazing side chest pose. That's one of his best poses. So I'm going to give Kevin Lavroni the point for the side chest. Plus, it's popping more. His uh, chest is wider and bigger, a lot bigger than Phil's little round chest. He's got a tiny little round chest. So Kevin Lavroni's going to grab the point there. All right, guys, now we got a front lat spread, and you see what I'm saying? Look at how narrow Phil is. Look at how much wider Kevin Lavroni is. Now, Phil might have a little more detail to the physique in this pose, like his midsection. You could see cuts to the abs. Um, even the shoulders and arms have nice little striations to them. The quads are nice and diced, but I'm going with Kevin Lavroni on this one just because he's wider, his lats attach a little bit lower, his lats are thicker, and he just looks a little bit better. So I'm going to go with Kevin Lavroni on the front lat spread. All right, guys, now we got an ab and thigh, and this was a really tough one because, you know what, Phil looked pretty good in 2011 in the ab and thigh, and I say it all the time, Phil Heath in 2011, his abs were the most deeply cut, but in 2013, his midsection was the tightest, but I'm still going to go with Kevin Lavroni because Kevin does have a tighter midsection, a better V-taper, and he's just more aesthetic than Phil is, and he's wider, so I'm going to go with Kevin, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below because that one could go either way.
All right, guys, now we got a hands clasp most muscular. And this was the hardest pose for me to judge out of this whole fucking comparison video. Phil looks like he's pumped up with an air pump, right, guys? That's from all the peptides and shit. But I'm going to go with Kevin. Kevin is just way more paper thin skinned. Kevin's got that nice paper thin skin and he looks a little more conditioned. And that's because Phil just looks a little too puffy. He looks really good, but he looks a little too puffy. Kevin looks harder and just more conditioned. So Kevin's going to grab the point there for sure. All right, guys, now we got the rear lat spread. And yeah, Kevin looks really good. His hams and glutes are on point. His lower back actually looks the best I've ever seen it. And he is a little bit wider than Phil. It's weird because Phil from the front is very narrow looking, but from behind, not so much. He looks kind of wide from behind. So I'm going to go and I'm going to give Phil Heath the point because I always love Phil Heath in the rear lat spread. Plus, he's got great hams and glutes to go along with the pose. Great lat insertion. So Phil's going to grab that one. All right, guys, now we got the last pose of the night, the rear double bicep. And if Kevin Lavroni had a little bit of a better lower back, like Phil Heath's lower back, I think Kevin would have one of the best rear double bicep poses in bodybuilding. I love the way the upper part of his back meets the middle part of his back, and then the way the middle part of the back ties in with the lower part of the back. And then we got to go off the arms as well. He's got big arms and shoulders, great hams and glutes. But Phil Heath is untouchable from behind. Him, Dorian Yates, and Ronnie Coleman are pretty much untouchable. So I'm going to go and I'm going to give Phil Heath the last point for the rear double bicep because he just looks so good, especially in 2011 hitting that pose. Just so good, as you guys can see in these pictures. I got a few back shots for you. But Kevin's not bad from behind. Not at all. All right, guys. So if we tally him up, we got... Phil the Gift Heath with four and Kevin Lavroni with five. And guys, I cut this shit straight down the middle, but it could have went, it really could have went five to four Phil Heath. This one was really, really close, but what's going to make me want to go with Kevin Lavroni is the width. Kevin is just a lot wider than Phil, and he's more paper thin skinned than Phil, as you can see in this picture. Just look at how paper thin skinned he is. It's just a real thing of fucking beauty. You could tell these guys weren't really using no peptides back in the day. Peptides is all the rage nowadays, but I digress. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed the awesome video footage, and if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, just tickle that Kevin Lavroni icon button. Mikey's Iron Ring.